Okay, so we have a second package here. Um, this is going to be kind of a revamped way of doing this. I want to show you guys the packaging in detail so you can take a look. This looks like, I didn't buy this off Amazon, but uh, Amazon packaging. I'm trying to keep the uh, shipping label out of the shop because I don't want to show, you know, who's who and whatever. Um, anyway, this seems pretty firm. It seems like it's packed pretty tightly in there. There should be three books in here. Um, I won't tell you what's in there. We'll open it up and find out. Uh, it is the return of the steak knife. This is my preferred tool by which I open my packages. And yes, there are subpressed books inside. So let's go ahead and take a peek. I guess now is where you should go ahead and vote because what I'll do is I'll pause the video. Um, you're going to click here if you think everything's going to be fine. You click here if you think something will be damaged in there. So. So right away, good sign is bubble wrap. Bad sign, plastic bags. <laughs> There's not a whole lot of insulation there. Um, for obvious reasons, I would never use a plastic bag to protect the sides of my package. I would always go for something that has a little bit of give, but relatively firm. There's nothing firm about this. Newspaper, plastic bags, um, any bags in any way, shape, or form I would not ever use. Not if I wanted to protect that book. So, packing peanuts bubble wrap. I mean, you know, seems pretty obvious. Um, let's pop this open. Now this is not a sub press book, but it's kind of cool anyway. Um, just something else I negotiated in this little deal. This would be, okay, that's not stuff. It's not schmutz, but I thought it was. This is the Trader Baru Cormor. It's a brand new book. I've not read it. Um, this is by Seth Dickinson here. He's kind of like an up and comer. Um, let me pop this open reason why I wanted to go for this kind of on the ground floor with this this is a uh, signed line dated variety I intend to maybe get an e-copy of this and have a little read and see if I like it um, I hear really good things though so I figured I'd pick it up 15 bucks why not Take this, chuck it okay I'm a little bit scared looking at the bottom of this package because if you take a peek inside you've got your your plastic bags on the outside here. These two books had nothing really between the boxes and the actual books themselves, um, which is really just a no-no. You want at least an inch to two inches of like packing peanuts or some such between your books and the outside of that package. Now, if you look at these Amazon boxes too, here I'll pull one of these books out. And I hope that you guys can't really see the books, the title of the books in there. I hope I didn't spoil it already, but these th these boxes are not that thick if you compare them to like you know, anything else out there I honestly probably wouldn't even use this to ship a book so I mean like they rip that easily um, it, a puncture is very easy to happen with something like this anyway whatever so let's take a peek find out if there's any kind of damage at all oh publisher's bag that's nice but yeah this would be ooh, a ripped publisher's bag. Uh, this would be The Steel Remains by Richard Morgan. Something I've been looking to add to my collection for a good long while here. Now, unfortunately, so I got the first one and the second one here. Unfortunately, I did not get a matching set. But for, mm, you take a look there. This is what happens when you don't protect your books and shipping, ladies and gentlemen. This is what happens when you don't give half of a fuck about what you're shipping somebody. And... I'm pissed, but at the same time, I did get them for a relative bargain. Look, there's a back corner. None of this shit is staged, by the way, in any way, shape, or form. Literally, I just bought books, and this is what happens. Um, damn. Okay. Well, anyway, um, if you look at it, check out Richard Morgan's signature. It's kind of funny. He puts a little smiley face in there with a little winky eyebrow thing um, but yeah these books man I hear really good things about them I hear they're really fucked up <laughs> and really dark which is cool um, let's see if this one's messed up too pull this bag open 
I was not correct earlier. That's not a publisher's bag, and if it is, it's the flimsiest one I've ever seen. And the spine ends are all jacked up <clears throat> on both books. Okay. This one ended up slightly better. Uh, the spine ends are kind of crumpled. Now these were listed as like new condition, by the way, and I saw pictures of them before I bought them and they look perfect. Um, not a problem, actually. Um, the corners on this didn't get fucked the way the other one did, but let's take a look at these corners. I want you to see what I'm seeing here. Take a look at that right there. This upper right hand corner here. Get a good shot there. But that right there and this back corner here, both corners there. And that's from being packed in that box the way they were with no padding. Um, so it is what it is, guys. Um, you know, unfortunately, I did go PayPal gifts with this. So it's not like I have any kind of recourse with it. I will contact the dude and let him know that he fucked up the shipping. Um, but, I, you know, this is what happens. Maybe it's time to start talking to sellers and making sure that everybody knows how to package books. And that's why I'm doing these videos, I guess. Um, so this part of this is going to be showing you some fucked up things that I opened. The other thing is I'm going to show you guys how to pack books. Um, you know, I am a collector. I may not look like one, but I am a collector. I know what I'm doing. I've been doing this for a little bit now. I'm going to teach you guys a couple of things. All right.